What's up guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today I'm unboxing the Intel Core i7 479K. As you can see here, it's for the LGA1150 socket. Oh, the camera is doing facial recognition thingy. I hope it's not focusing incorrectly, but that's fine. And uh, let's start with the unboxing. Oh yeah, I have to get rid of this little uh, piece here before I can go ahead. And there you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah. It's not the fanciest box, unfortunately. It's not like Intel really puts in a lot of effort in making beautiful boxes, but we're not going to complain about that. Oh, and what I didn't appreciate is what you can see here, that's where you normally are supposed to see like a preview of your CPU. However, it was not aligned perfectly with the square and I don't appreciate that. Not that I'm OCD or anything, but um, yeah, it has to align. So first thing you see here is of course your CPU. And as you can see, it's not aligned with the square, which I don't like. And the internal fan that comes with it, which I'm not gonna be using because even though it does its job, I'm going to do some overclocking, and it looks it looks beautiful. Um, it looks much smaller than the heatsink I'm going to use, though. Mm -hmm. Let me just get rid of this one here. Let me put that up straight for you guys. Oops. There you go. Let's see. How do I get this out? I want to shake it, but that's not the way to go, guys. Don't ever shake your devices. Yeah. Nope. It's not working. It's not working. It is now. It is now. Okay, so let's take a closer look to the heatsink, which is actually really loose. So I'm not going to try and tip it over too much. There you go. A nice close up. And the back of it. Voila. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm going to just put that down here so you guys can see it. And of course, the smallest, most timid piece of the box, the CPU, which I'm not going to take out of the uh, out of the plastic just yet. Uh, they pretty much look all alike. What I do like is, um, yeah, it it does look a bit different from the other ones. I think that's because they improved on their previous uh, versions, where uh, it was a bit harder to apply the thermal paste, but that. That's fixed with this one, which looks pretty beast, not gonna lie. Yeah, four gigahertz, four, uh, four cores, pretty awesome. Uh, the rest that's in the box is actually only a few books, which uh, I'm gonna have a look at a little later. Oh, you got the Intel sticker that you can use, which I'm not gonna use. So this is the instruction manual, which uh, I'm probably gonna go through really quickly and the Intel McAfee Live Save book, which I'm gonna throw away because I don't, I don't use McAfee. Not that it's bad, but just I don't use it. My perf perf personal preference. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that was my unboxing for the Intel i7 uh,4790K CPU. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye guys.